for, for me, I think it's disgusting that, that there is no kind of, you know, awareness, uh, uh, given how many Soviets, uh, um, as you said, heroes uh, died. So 27 million, I think it was split halfway civilians and, and servicemen, which is ridiculous, you know, like an entire generation wiped out and then the Holocaust. And, you know, this brings me to something else that, that just a few days ago, Auschwitz, um, they had the, the yearly uh, commemoration and the Russians who liberated the camp were not invited. I mean, what, what was your reaction to that? Mine, mine was disgust. Yeah, it's, uh, I mean, you know, and remember when we talk about the liberation of Auschwitz, um, this wasn't a walk in the park. The, um, the, the Soviet soldiers that were fighting their way towards um, uh, you know, fighting, I, I guess they had just liberated uh, Krakow and now they're moving west. Um, they didn't know the camps were there. Uh, they were engaged in heavy combat with uh, with German defenders. Um, in the day that they liberated, in the days that, that they liberated Auschwitz, uh, 261 uh, Soviet soldiers were killed um, in that immediate vicinity. Uh, to, that's an indication that, the, you know, there was war going on. So, it's not as though they just walked in and said, oh, look, I mean, they're in the midst of combat when they came upon this camp uh, and they still found a way to surge uh, humanitarian relief in to try and care for, you know, the seven and a half thousand remaining survivors. Um, right. And you know, so important was that day. So important was that day that it was decided that that's going to be the day the liberation of Auschwitz would mark Holocaust Remembrance Day. When the world is supposed to stop and lower their heads and uh, and vow never again, never again. And yet now we have the curators of the uh, Auschwitz Museum Memorial barring the Russians from participating in support of a Ukrainian government that is filled to the gills with Nazis who revere a man whose followers killed Jews maybe were involved in guarding Auschwitz. Um, I just can't even begin to fathom it. I mean, again, it's I, 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 I want to, you know, I don't want to, infl I don't want to inflict harm. I'm, I'm becoming less violent as I get older, but Germans need to be lined up against the wall and have somebody in their face re-educating them about the stupidity of these actions. And I don't tolerate Germans saying, what can we do? We don't support this. What can we do? Get out of your house, scream at the top of your voice, surround the Bundestag. Um, again, lay down on railway tracks to stop the tanks from moving, surround the factories that are building the tanks, and condemn the Poles and everybody else. Defund Auschwitz. I mean, here in the United States, when we see you know police departments behave improperly, people st shout, defund the police. Well, maybe in order to have Auschwitz Memorial wake up, defund it, stop sending money until they beg forgiveness from the Russians and the Russians give them forgiveness because Russia is the one who liberated Auschwitz.